Another vibe. One, two, three, badges! Playing semi pro is a blast. Uh, you meet a lot of new people, you make a lot of friends, and I've made a lot of brothers on this team that um, have made this season worth playing for. Um, you know, it's not the results we always want, but, you know, meeting such a good group of guys, I'm proud to be sitting next to these people and and to be a part of something so special with a bunch of guys it's a game i love and it's a game that i have a lot of respect for and that i'm happy to be playing again you know at 30 years old so it's it's really just um a blessing to be here and a blessing to be with guys like this yeah and i could agree because we all come from like different walks of life you know we never knew each other outside of football so you know, getting to know each other after the game, before the game, you know, practicing together, you know, then like, uh, yeah, we just we just doing the thing that we love and just doing it as a team. And like we start building chemistry. And even after that, beyond football, you know, we got guys like hanging out together, like after football games and like, you know, going to like Dave and Buster's mall, whatever. You know, it's a it's a good experience. Well, like Ralph said, it's like we all come parts of life, you know, um, I remember just graduating high school and going to the range of semi pro, I knew it was going to be a completely different thing than going to college, but I wouldn't want to trade it anything, for anything, it's like, you meet, like, a new group of friends, and then you know, just become your best friends and brothers on and off the field, it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, this is my first time playing football since 2008 in high school, and, uh, you know, I love semi pro different experience. I've met a lot of people along the way. It's a blessing it's playing the game that I love. It, it really is special and I, I'm very happy to say I'm a Badger. Wins, losses, ties, doesn't matter. It's it, it's just the fact that we all came together and did this and finished the whole season. And I think we're all proud to say that, you know, we we did this. We saw it from start to finish and and here we are. The off-season for the Golden Badgers officially begins as the ECFL playoffs and championships conclude. Oh. <laughs> you get that? You get that? That was the Heisman. Caught it. I thought we were retiring. You know we're going to be back. It's a privilege just because you know not a lot of people know about it at least i didn't know about it for a few years so once i did there was this you know excitement that i got just from being able to play football again and i think a lot of people feel the same way um and just the diversity of it all because we all come from different walks of life you know people we've never known from um you know different parts of everywhere so just uh everybody having an opportunity to play you know no matter you know where you're from you know, that's, you know, that's a privilege within of itself also. The, the league has done a great deal for all of us, all of our owners, coaches, everything. And Jim really knows how to solidify a product and bring it to its, you know, its peak. I love actually what uh, Jim, Jim is doing in this, in this league. Um, you know, down to the media team, you know, have, make sure we have refs, um, making sure that the schedules are set, you know, making sure that, you know, banquets are set, you know, th things like that. Um, just just all around football, you know what I mean? Like, the, the stuff you watch on TV, the stuff you have a favorite team for, the stuff that, you you know, your city puts all that money into. You, just to have the sportsmanship uh, despite that, because we've had some really good games. You know, we've had refs on the field, we've had coaches on both sides of the ball. Um, and we've had people, you know, play play games, uh, not just to play, but, you know, we're competitive and we're showing team spirit and just uh, camarad camaraderie. Oh, I can't speak right now, but <laughs> you get what I mean. Jim's definitely doing a good job with the league. 
he's definitely putting a lot, putting everything together, making sure everybody got everything, you know, shout out to the gym for that. Thank you for that. Got the name on the front. And really, I think that just, you know, in bigger contracts will stop people from jumping and jumping. Like yeah. Going into like this whole like recruiting portal. Basically. Look at me. I'm from Mass. I played for mostly Connecticut teams. You know why? Because I went for organization. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Shams are great, but I didn't want to go play for, you know what I mean, a team that's already winning national championships. What do I look like? I look like I'm just following along. You know what I mean? So I went to the Bulls, but I want to be home now. So, you know what I mean? I'm at the Badgers organization, you know what I mean, we're building. But that's I mean? the thing too, is those teams have been around forever, like the Bandits and all those teams, so the name gets you yeah. recruiting um, benefit there. Yeah. But it, like I said before, it's all starting from the ground up. They are, are an established organization. The name alone will get players to come, but you still, again, it comes down to one player can win you a football game Yeah. if they have a big day. It happens all the time. But does that win you an entire season is really where, okay, Anthony had a great game this week and we won, but is he, gonna, is he gonna do that every single game this year? Are we gonna be able to, it's, it's gotta be a oh. bunch of guys stepping up and playing together really, which is. Hard to do when it, it's one year contracts. And it also comes down to players committing to going to practice, which I think was, it has been, I mean, I've, Only two. I've been around this league long enough where, and I've played on, you know, four different teams now, there's always Short those, those great players that just never come to practice yeah. and they show up on game day and do they play well? Yes, but can they play better? Absolutely. Definitely. If they knew the playbook, if they were coming to practice, if they were getting to know the other guys. Biggest difference between single, double A, and triple A is practice and linemen. That 100%. is literally the biggest difference. Practice, triple A, we you gotta practice. You know what I mean? The type of competition that we have in the ECFL is ridiculous. Uh, semi pro, I think I think it's it's really great. It's you know I, it's a really great thing to have, um, and it's uh, I'm very lucky to play. Semi pro, uh, in my experience has been you know super beneficial to me and you know I see it beneficial to others um, in a lot of aspects uh, whether it be like you know a bunch of guys who are dealing with stuff and need an outlet and great coaching and that's really what comes down to it so semi pro I could agree with you know what I mean a lot of you know I mean hymns that are hers and honestly what we're lacking in semi pro is a lot of structure and organization everybody wants to take off after one season of not doing good and no you gotta, one can build. You got to finish. You know, I still love the game of football, and semi-pro is actually a place for me to, you know, continuously doing that, especially at my age of 30. On a financial standpoint, um, you know, we, as players, you know, we pay our dues, and you know, everybody has to be accounted for. Um, the uh, the owners too they they all pay into um, you know keeping everything together and keeping like I mean it starts all the way from the top whether it be like you know ref fees we got you know field field uh, you know compensation uh, you know just it, it's it it's a lot and the fact that we have the system that we have where we can have all of this at our disposal is just like another reason why it's so much fun and it's a, it's a fantastic time. Actually being able to play semi is like the best for me because it keeps me out of a lot of trouble and you know I get to go home you know to my family chill be able to play work you know kick it simple stuff you know but I like football because I never really played it as a child like I always had chronic asthma so I never really trusted it and then this dude my cousin always in my ear yo come play come play come play finally put on the pads and came to play so that's why I like to play football I really love it I enjoy it I'm hoping to go <clears throat> further with it so thank you <laughs> You know, you, you start out not knowing like who 
you are as a player and you don't know who else, anybody else is as a player and then you walk into it and you know it once when you put your money towards that and towards that use and you build off of it you realize in the end that everything you know that you put forth towards it all will pay off at some point or another it's just a matter of accountability confidence and you know camaraderie all around you know what i mean like football so yeah since my pros actually been uh, amazing for me um I haven't had, you know, I want to say the best seasons that, you know, I expect, but like I said, I just jumped off the couch, I jumped back into this with no working out, you know what I mean, no no skills training, no nothing, you know what I mean, just just doing it off of experience, because I've always played football and I've always loved the game. Um, and to, to end off on that, uh, I just love the game, man, thank you for letting me play. Up next for the Badgers is the annual Sweets Bowl.